Hello Taurus, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, at Val 53 Tarot, she's read you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Hmm. Wow. Some nice energy. Um, that's a very specific message. This isn't going to resonate for everyone out there, um, but I know that the right person will understand this. Um, I'll get there, but there's definitely a message right there. There you are, Taurus. On top of the deck. Um... Hello. Jumping into this though, what you are showing me, you've got a lot going on. Right now you got so much going on that you're kind of just sitting back, watching things progress, watching things grow. And what's nice about this is there definitely is some sort of financial abundance and success and status coming in. So you're watching things grow. Um, definitely financially. So there is that security there, but there's also that consideration of how to best utilize your resources, your time and energy. That being said, you do actually strongly believe in your situation and in your circumstances. And I like this energy because I'm gonna bring it up a little bit later too. Um, your belief is actually changing your situation, your circumstance around for the better. Now, that being said, I do see at the same time, there is something here regarding the past that you are still in the process of kind of working through and kind of finding your way through. Um, but what I like about this is even though whatever this kind of reminiscing energy is, there's also the energy of, okay, now what? Now what do I do? Um, a little bit of indecisiveness with choosing direction or where to go or how to kind of do this thing. But I do see at the same time, there is some sort of closure of a cycle here taking place. And I feel like it is somehow attached or tied to the past. Um, now, that being said, here's that message I was going to say. You're kind of showing me now what? Well, Taurus, now what? And I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Pisces. Do you believe in your magic or do you not? Because now what? Well, the sky's the limit. What do you want to create? What do you want to do? What do you want to pursue? Let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers. Your vision. Your vision doesn't necessarily have to change. You just have to believe in your vision. And if you don't believe in your vision, check your beliefs or check your vision. Find out what's going on. Pisces, like I just said, I told Pisces the same thing. Uh, 
I like this. I like this energy. Ultimately, what you're saying is, yeah, I've got something going on for myself, and I'm just kind of going with the flow, just kind of trusting that things will work out. It's a nice energy. And that's what I'm talking about, Taurus. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you're moving. You're going. <laughs> you're saying, yep, I got what I got, and I'm moving forward. <laughs> so, like I said, there, there's a lot of movement here, and there's a lot of strong energy right out the gate. Ooh, why that, though? Okay, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Um, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I told Aquarius the same thing. Got a bunch of crisscross energy here going on. Hmm. Interesting. Now you're, you're kind of showing me this energy of you're doubling down on your belief. You're doubling down. You're like, I do believe. And there's nothing else to kind of say or think about it. <laughs> All right, then. Well, then what's going on with this magician energy at the end? What's going on with that? If you're saying you believe and there's no, no other questions to ask, then there's no other questions to ask if you truly believe. The question is, do you keep asking questions because you don't believe? Now you're showing me someone else. Um, okay. Yeah, give it time. Give it time. Give it time, though. <laughs> yeah, that's all about beliefs and faith, is you give it time and it's going to be tested and challenged in... Yeah. Sometimes you have a belief that no one believes in but you. People don't even believe you. But you keep on working. Um, Taurus, there's an emphasis. I got to say this, and I don't mean this any type of way. Um, there's an emphasis on rainbows. I'm looking at three cards, three cards with rainbows in them. Um, the colors. Colors. Why the emphasis on colors? Makes me think of like emotions and creativity and inspiration and, you know, art. Art, crafts, that type of thing. But what I like about this is you're definitely, you're diving deep into your past, Taurus, to kind of reminisce and figure something out personally within you about what you feel is kind of best for you and your direction in your life. Um, but what I really like about this is it's all about perspective. It's all about clarity. It's all about knowing and understanding how things happened, how things took place, uh, whether it be between you and you, you and someone romantically, or just you and your life. Um, it's all about perspective and putting things into that kind of alignment and saying, okay, understandable. I see all this. It's a nice energy. It's diving deep back into your past and being like, there's some things here I didn't take care of or acknowledge or address that I need to now in order to kind of put things back on track. Whether it be energetically or whether it be for the circumstances, either or, you'll be thankful you did that. Okay. There's the devil energy. Hmm. Well, what is that? What is that? You're kind of like, you're kind of showing me, um, what do I do about that? <laughs> whatever you want to do with that, Taurus, whatever you want to do, do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. It's about your vision. Your dreams, your goals, your desires, what you're creating for yourself. You're kind of showing me like, well, there may be some sort of addiction there. There might be some sort of attachment, unhealthy, toxic cycle that you got to break. It might be a relationship, it might be a connection, it might be a habit. It might be something you do for work. I don't know exactly, but guess what? That world's there showing up as well following this. And this is you saying, I might have those things going on in my life, but I'm also taking care of them. That is going to enhance everything, by the way. I mean everything. Eight 
Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> it's crazy. You straighten things out in here, and then all of a sudden life opens up. I like that. There's definitely some sort of new opportunity here for you. It definitely is. One door closes, another door opens, and where it leads, well, you kind of have to walk through and find out. Sometimes life knocks, and up to you to answer or not. Um, <laughs> I get it. I do. I get it. Um, ultimately, what you're kind of saying right now is things aren't necessarily moving forward regarding your vision, but at the same time, you're going to say, well, that's fine for now. I'm going to choose to wait and see how this unfolds. Um, I won't dig too much. I won't dig too much because I understand that energy. It's been there for some time. It's been there for a while, Taurus. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone, as I mentioned, we do have Pisces energy showing up. Libra, Capricorn, heavy Libra, um, Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini and Virgo. Goodness, the air signs. The air signs are all here. Okay. Goodbye.